Hello, good evening, Heidi. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher, good evening. Hello, hey. teacher. Hey, hello. I thought you didn't listen to me. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh. Hey, how are you doing? Are you ready for today's session? Yes, teacher. All right, I'm glad to hear that I can see Heidi is here. I really hope you have had a great weekend, a long weekend. And I also see that Julio is connecting. Okay, thank you so much, Julio, for connecting. Welcome to our session number 15. So this means that we are just one uh, session more, you know, away. And then this is going to finish this course. Okay, how was your weekend, Julio? Was good. Nice. Uh, so I had to work on Saturday uh, all day. And just the Sunday uh, to do a supermarket, wash the car and help my daughter to go the, with the homework. And that's it. I imagine. <laughs> so yeah, sometimes we don't even have time to wash the car, yeah. right? <laughs> but then it's part of the responsibilities that we have, but I think we also enjoy doing these activities, right? Um, yes, yes. I know- I, I, really, I, I really enjoy it. It's a kind of, of reduce the stress, you know? <laughs> exactly to release the stress is a good activity to do so thank you so much for sharing Heidi or Milton would you like to share about your weekend or anything you did that you want to share with with the whole class in my weekend is the party teacher party time wow yes teacher Saturday uh, celebrate my my cousin the 15 years uh. 15 years, great. Yes. And the Sunday is the, how do you say piñata, teacher? Piñata. <laughs> oh, yeah. piñata, teacher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You say, you say break piñata, that's the action, break piñatas. Okay. Oh, okay. And did you collect candies? Did you pick up yes. candies, a lot of candies? Yes, teacher. <laughs> nice. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Awesome. So, um, I'm glad you enjoy your weekend with your, um, that was your, you said daughter or niece? What do you say? Or cousin, what do you say? Who did you say um, you were celebrating? Was that your daughter or your, I don't remember who you said. Hey, my cousin teacher. Oh, your cousin. Okay, yes. I can see. Nice. Okay, so well, guys, thank you so much for sharing. Alex is here. Milton is here. We're gonna start with our session. Alex, welcome. How are you doing? Are you ready for today's session? Milton, are you ready? I'm ready to share. Nice to hear I'm that. Sure. Great. So today is our session number 15. Okay, so that means that we are about to finish this entire course. And let me share my screen right now so you can see, maybe you already have seen that topic, but I want to share it with you at this moment, okay? Today we are going to study vocabulary, okay? And this is antonyms. What is an antonym? Let's see. Um, Julio, what do you think an antonym is? What is it for you? In your own words, can you explain to me or to the class? Yeah, antonyms is like um, maybe words what are or, or sense that make sense. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. So you would say that antonyms are words, I'm sorry, that make or have words. the same. Mm -hmm. Uh, the significate is the same in other words. 
Oh, it's the same, same meaning. Ah, okay. Uh, do you agree with that, Alex, that an antonym has the same meaning as the other words? Is, do you agree with that? No, the, uh, for me, the antonyms is a, is a different significator, it's a, it's a word. Okay, different meaning, right? Different meaning, yeah. significance. Um, okay, so we have two ideas. Milton, what do you think? Do you agree with Julio or with Alex? Who do you agree with? Uh, Heidi, what do you think? What, what is an antonym for you? It's opposite. Oh, it's opposite. the opposite. Opposite yes, meaning. It's the, uh, me too, Alex. All right, yes. I see. And what is, what is the opposite for um, antonym? What is the opposite word for antonym? Antonym. Uh, synonym. 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 Okay. Synonym. 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 Very good. Yes. Synonyms and antonyms. Antonyms refers to the opposite of, of a word, right? For example, cold, hot. Antonym, right? Uh, happy, sad. Angry, maybe uh happy or if you're angry what's the opposite of angry angry is uh, happy content that is <laughs> they are said enough i cracks um yes uh satisfied day day or night uh, day or night <laughs> exactly day or night you see milton is there great Okay, so nice. I'm glad. I'm glad uh, you have the idea of this. And today we're going to study that. Let me tell you guys that um, working with Antonin is a great strategy for you to enhance your vocabulary because whenever you know one word, it is a good idea to investigate what is the opposite of this word so you can enhance your vocabulary. Sometimes when you are explaining or speaking English, you, um, so you are not redundant or so you don't repeat words, a good strategy is to use synonyms or antonyms, okay? So that's a good uh, way to practice your English. Today, we're gonna learn some verbs. Maybe you already know this, this verb, which is totally okay, but we're going to see how we can use them, okay? In context, that's the idea. So let's get started. First part, I don't know if you guys can see because I just screenshot the video. Can you see the words or maybe I will need to write them down on the chat for you. Can you see them? Can you, um, are you able to read guys? All right. Yes. I can read. All right. That's what I wanted to hear. Thank you so much. Here we have 18. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, six times three. Um, what is the result? 18. 18. Okay, 18. So we have 18 verbs. We're going to um, first pronounce them. Second, find their opposite, right? Their antonyms. Okay. So I need Julio to read the first column here. Okay, the first column, accept, and then? Including accept? Exactly, only pronunciation, please. Accept, admit, agree. Thank you so much. Alex, second column here. Um, borrow, Danny, and dis disagree. Thank you so much. This pronunciation is deny. Deny. Okay. deny. deny. Good, deny. Let's move on. Heidi, please. Next column. Okay, teacher. Dislike, uh -huh. divorce, divorce, enjoy. Thank you. Milton, next one. Fine, forget, land. Thank you so much. And who else is here? Who else is connected? Let me see. Heidi. Oh, Blanky is here. Blanky, please. Next column. Lost, marry, and re review. Okay. Re refuse. 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 You. 
you Mary Ref refuse refuse and this is lose like lose lose Mary and no lose lose yeah lose lost lose. is is the is the past but lose is the present like lose <laughs> lose let's see about to you Alex this one remember save spend thank you so much this is what we're gonna do i can see you guys know maybe all of these verbs are very common for you right so i'm gonna give you uh maybe two three or four minutes for you to make the pairs for example accept refused they're, they're opposite they're antonyms we have check mark in each of them so continue with the next one if you already have it because you already watched the video fine but then if you don't have it yet i'm gonna give you some time for you to write on your notebook uh, a chart and start writing antonyms first one one column one verb second column the opposite of this verb okay say three or four minutes start working please Gerard, welcome Gerard. Thank you so much for joining in, Gerard. We are working on these charts, Gerard. We're, we're just doing some, um, we're making or solving this chart with antonyms. Antonyms, Gerard, is the opposite of a word. So we're just working on this, uh, making the, the pairs. Let's see, uh, we have 18 verbs in here. Just take a look at this, accept. The opposite of accept or the antonym is refuse. So make a list of the next verse that are here and then find their opposites. So you're going to have nine pairs. Okay. Uh, All right. The, the first idea, the first are agree and mm -hmm. the opposite disagree. Opposite. Disagree. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's an example. Keep going. Keep going. Take a look at the next. When you finish, guys, send a message on the chat. So I know you finish and we can start comparing our answers, okay? Okay. Okay.
think somebody has finished. Oh, Alex, one. Yes, let's make sure we have all this on your notebook, please. Click complete it. You have one pair right there. Good. Thank you so much, Julio, for finishing. Thank you for uh, letting me know. When you guys finish, I want you to tell me. Julio already finished. I'm gonna give you one more minute and then we're gonna start sharing, okay? Finish, yeah, sir. Two, great. Okay, two have finished, five are missing. One more minute. All right, I think it's okay with the time. We are going to start sharing. If you haven't finished, no problem, okay? Just uh, check the ones you have already finished. Julio, please do us the honor, please. Start sharing your answers, read it. Okay, I only match seven pairs. Uh, Admit with deny, agree with disagree, divorce, marry, spend, save, accept, refuse, find with lose, and forget with remember. Awesome. I, I mm. can pair borrow, dislike, lend, and divorce. Divorce, marry. Uh, divorce is for sorry, sorry. Yes, yes, divorce, uh, marry. So let, let's see. You're saying you cannot pair borrowed, uh, dislike, Borrow is, uh, dislike, lend, lend, and um, enjoy. Enjoy. Okay. So let's listen to one more. Who finished already to help us? Because there's, um, we need to make sure we have all this solved. Okay, who wants to help us out? Now we are I, eight. Uh -huh. Go ahead, I please. Think, I think to lend the positive is borrow. Okay, the opposite of lend uh, is borrow. Okay, do you, who else agrees with that? And what about the other one? What about dislike? What is the opposite of dislike? Enjoy. 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 So we have dislike, enjoy. If we had like, then that would be its opposite. However, we do not have in this list of verbs like. Therefore, the only option that is um, available for this is enjoy. Yes, and of course, borrow, lend. Because when you borrow, you are doing the action. You are the one who's taking things with you. But when you lend, somebody else is taking it from you because you give and borrow, you receive or you take. So it's opposite actions. And of course, enjoy is like something that, something satisfying, something that is, um, let's say, um, a pleasure for you to do. 
And this like is of course the opposite, right? You are not happy, you are dissatisfied and so on and so forth. Okay, good. Now, let me share what I got you here and let's and you can compare. You share uh, uh, the positive the spend? Save, save. save. Exactly, okay. uh, Julio said it correctly. Take a look at this one, guys. Um, maybe you can this time double check your answers, okay? We have here accept, accept, refused. Refuse. Admit. Admit. Deny. Deny. Agree. Deny. Disagree. 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 Agree. Borrow. Borrow. Lend. 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 Okay. Dislike. Dislike. Enjoy. Enjoy. Divorce. Divorce. Marry. Marry. Find. Find. Lose. Lose. And we have the other ones, which are, let's see, forget, remember. Remember. Spend. spend save. 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 Okay. Once again, uh, let me go back. Accept, refused. Admit, deny, deny, agree, deny. disagree, disagree. borrow, lend, lend, dislike, enjoy, enjoy. enjoy. Uh, divorce, divorce marry, marry, find, find lose. lose. Okay. Lose. okay. Lose. And forget, forget. remember, remember. Spend, spend, save. save. Okay. Ahora le doy chance. Le voy a dar unos cinco minutos. I'm going to give you some, like five minutes for you to think about. Uh, some opposites, some synonyms, or maybe antonyms, let's say this side, because they're opposite. Maybe I am giving you here five, let's say, a spot for you to write your own examples. But maybe because of time, try to think about at least two verbs that have an opposite, okay? I give you three minutes. Think about one on your own, your own example. When you have it, open your mic or send it to the chat, please. I think we have one. Let's see. <laughs> I like it, Julio. True lie. Uh huh. True lie. They are nouns, right? True lie. Opposite. Okay. And what about actions? Let's see. Lie is lie is a verb, but true is just a noun. So how do we say uh, maybe tell the true? and lie because true is only a noun true and lie um okay what about any other action think about actions please let's see run run, run. Uh -huh, the opposite and stop stop okay or you see run and stances worries Hmm. Um, oh my god caminar <laughs> walk slowly walk 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 sorry walk. yeah you see here we have good examples uh mm -hmm. bodice is saying run yeah. stand okay maybe stop build destroy says hey the yes destroy with with the e no. with the e destroy instead of the i write an e destroy uh give uh -huh, you add it and you remove the u give receive Exactly, I like that one. Fast, teacher, slow, yes. Low, low, and cry. Low, low, loud, and cry. Hmm. Right. Maybe, um, or low, 
low, low, uh, reír. Uh, laugh, 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 and, laugh, laugh, and, laugh and, cry. and cry. Yes, right. fit loose. Okay, mm, I see your point. Excited, uh -huh. excited, confused. Okay, confused, excited. Uh -huh. Fit and loose. Um, we use in the garments, fit garments and loose garments. Oh, I see. Nice. I like, look at this example. When you, uh, when you go into a house or into a, an agency or a store, it says pull the door, right? Pull and then, or push it. Exactly. Pull or push. I like those two ones, Julio. Pull or push. Nice. Wow. That's really cool. We have many. Okay. Is there any other that you want to share? Maybe you, it's, you can write this down. So you, you remember, okay. This is good. Take clean one more. Sir. Which one? Clean. Oh, clean and dirty. dirty. Uh -huh. Clean, dirty. Clean, dirty. Adjectives. A slow, a speed. Slow, fast, or a speed, fast. okay? Uh -huh. Slow, okay. Okay, yes. Dark light, we have this example. All right, good. Nice. Uh, this is what we're going to do now. I want to make a challenge with these words because that's the idea to practice this vocabulary. Uh, challenge number one. Okay, let's see. Volunteer, any volunteer, choose one verb pair, mention the three tenses, present, past, and past participle, and use them in a sentence. Got it? I'm gonna show you the verse right now, and I want you to tell me the three tense. Present, past, and past participle. And then use these verbs in a sentence, okay? Would you like to try? Let's see, who wants to volunteer? I'm gonna show you the first list. All right. The, the first one is this one. Who wants to volunteer? We are seven here, please. Let's uh, work on this. Let's do this fast because time really flies. This one, this, this, this pairs, the first pair, accept and refuse. What are, what are their other tenses? Who wants to do it? Hmm. Or maybe I give you an example. No, you can do this. Who wants to do it? I walk in the park. I walk in the park. Yeah, I walk in the park. Mm -hmm. And what about this one, Jenner? Let's use this one, the ones that I have ah, here. This, this. I, I need to listen to the past and the past participle of the two verbs, and I want you to uh, use them in a sentence. Okay. Okay, Mary accept the new world. Um, Mary did accept uh, a new world. And uh, Mary is accepting a new world. Uh -huh. Okay, I see. Thank you so much oh, for- Oh, past participle, sorry. Um, Mary, uh, I see no say. <laughs> okay, so let's do it this way. Let me give you an example, guys. I like what you said because it makes a lot of sense, Alex. This is what I want. The first step is the following. I want you to identify which type of verb is this is. For example, accept, I know is a regular verb. So the past is accepted. Past participle, accepted. Uh, refused, I know this is a, a regular verb. I only add ed and it's already passed. So I said refuse, refused, refused. So first step, accept, accepted, accepted. Refuse, refused, refused. That's one step. My second uh, part of the challenge is to use them in a sentence. Okay, I was thinking about it. Maybe accept. Um, she didn't accept me and I refused to believe it. 
right? I'm using the two verbs in a sentence. So that's what I want to, that's what I want you to use. It doesn't matter how, in which tense you use them in a sentence. You, you got it? Who wants to try with the next one? Number two. Do as I did, please. Number two. Here. I, I admit I, all my lies and she denied all. <laughs> We're thinking about relationship, right? Okay, now give me the, the tenses, Julio. How do you say this in past? Uh, admitted. Admit. Admitted. Admitted, okay, admitted. admitted. Good, and this one? Yeah. The past? Oh, sorry. No, really no. I admit only one in this class. Okay. Okay. I admitted only only one in this class. Okay. Yeah. And I admitted in only one in this class. Mm -hmm. And what about this one? The past. This is regular verb. So we just yeah. add ed and we change this into I and then we add ed denied. 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 Uh -huh. So we already listened to one with these two verbs, this pair. Mm -hmm. How about this one? Who wants to try? One. The third one. Who wants to try? Come on, guys. Come on. Let's take advantage of the time. Uh, let's see. Uh, any lady? I have listened to boys only. How about ladies? This one, give me the tenses first, past and past participle. And then give me a sentence. That is the purpose. Vocabulary class, it, we have to use and create, you know, sentences and see how we can make, you know, any type of contractions. So we practice it. Tell me the past and past participle and also give me a sentence with the two verbs, please. Anybody? We are seven. I I agree with, uh, with your history. Okay, that's one. And what about the second part? I agree with your history and then? But uh, I disagree with the, with the finish. With the, with the end, with the ending of the story. The, yes, uh, yes, uh, with the end. The, okay. the compliment, the history. Oh, okay, okay, the compliment. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Let's see, Alex, try with the next one, please. Borrow. Borrow and lend. Um, what is what is borrow in Spanish? Uh huh. Any volunteer to help us? What is borrow in Spanish? Prestado. Mm, okay. Uh -huh. okay, I I borrow the um, the cell phone to my daughter or my oh, oh, for my no I borrowed the cell phone to my daughter and I in past um I. I did, <laughs> only I did. I did borrow the cell phone my, to my daughter. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I, I don't, uh, I, I am, um, to me, it's difficult for, it's in past, mm -hmm. um, past, um, progress, mm -hmm. past, past, past tense. Past tense, progress. Este, mm -hmm. Usando ING. Oh, yeah, but ING, it is for past progressive. Okay, or or maybe 
past um, continuous, yes, that's the same thing. But in this case, we don't, we're not using past continuous. We're just using uh, the regular verb, like in the past, simple past. Um, so in this case, so you can use or make a sentence in the past. It doesn't, you, need, you don't need to use did unless it is a question or a negative. But if it is just an affirmative <laughs> sentence, you only use the verb. For example, I borrowed $10 from you. Okay, okay. I borrowed ED. The ED makes the tense mm -hmm. into past borrowed. Land, what is the past of land? When, 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 uh, when I have uh, used the need, the did and the, uh -huh. the past form in the verb. Exactly, did is only used with questions and negative, but don't use did for affirmative. For example, if I wanna say, um, me, tu me prestaste diez dólares, I say, you lent me ten dollars, right? But then lent is in the past with the T instead of the D, but that's it. So in affirmative, we don't use D with T, exactly. You, you lent me $10. So I'm not using D because it's only an affirmative sentence. But if it is a question, then I need to use D. For example, uh, did you lend me $10? Did you, I'm using did because it's a question. And if it is negative, yes, I use, of course, I, I have to use did, but in this case, it will change. I will say, you didn't lend me $10. So basically the didn't is used in the past with negative and questions, that's it. But don't use did for affirmatives. So don't say to me, uh, you did lend me $10 because it, it will sound strange. It doesn't translate properly unless you are making an emphasis, but that's another story, okay? So that's, mm -hmm. maybe we need to dip down a little bit of this, but then what I can suggest is to study a structure of simple past, uh, Alex, because this is very easy. Didn't is very, study the use of did and didn't. You'll see it's very easy, nothing to worry about, okay? And okay. Mm -hmm. I know you will, Master this, even if you have questions, uh, you can ask maybe on the chat or if you are, if you need any suggestion, text me and I can send you some links for you to practice this tense. Okay, let's move on because uh, time really flies and I want to cover all this uh, vocabulary and there's still one activity that I want you to, I want you guys to do with this verse. So what about this like and enjoy? Anybody who wants to volunteer? Try, please. Boris is here, Heidi is here, Gerard, anybody? <clears throat> or maybe you wanna try again, Julio, anybody? I dislike it, the last movie, but I enjoyed the first one. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. My only observation is to, to pronounce the EDs as they are. Remember, Boris. And this is a sound with a K, so we say T. Disliked. Disliked, exactly. And they okay. enjoy, the last sound is a vowel sound, we say D, enjoyed, enjoyed. enjoyed. Exactly, D right. and, okay. so this is T as, as tango, and this is D as delta. So can you say it again, please? I disliked the last movie and enjoyed it, the first one. Awesome, exactly. That's good. Give you a like. What about the next one? This is this must be fun. Let's see. Who wants to try? I married uh, 20, 22 years ago. I divorced uh, two years ago. Okay, I married and then I got disappointed and I divorced myself. Okay, good. Divorced, divorced. married, married, Mar divorced. Okay, who wants to try with the next one? This one, who wants to try? Oh, what are the past? Things? This one is not regular, this is irregular. So what is the past of this and what is the past of this? Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I, find, I found my 
my phone in the couch. And what about the other one? Found my notebook, but I lose my pen. <laughs> That's so sad. And, and I, it's like, I found my I found my notebook, but I but I lose lost. or I lost my my pen and I wanted to write a story so I can't do it you see I can see like it very good so find found found lose lost lost and we finish with the next ones guys let's uh, hurry up because I can see time is really going fast let's take a look at the next one and let's finish this who wants to volunteer forget and remember who wants to try Mm, I for I forgot forgot I forgot um send the emails to my boss and but remember the birthday for uh, for my shy. <laughs> yes, that is too sad, right? That is really sad. Thank you so much for sharing. And what about a spend? A spend. I want to try. Okay, so who wants to try with spend? The last one, come on, the last one. I spend all my money in the casino. <laughs> Gambling, <laughs> like in Las Vegas. <laughs> okay, good, and what about save? I get some money the next year. Okay, and I will say some money next year. And what about, let's put it a little bit more challenging. Can you use I, the path? I, uh -huh. I said much money for my car. Yeah, in repair. <laughs> okay. How do you say yo había ahorrado mil dólares, pero me los gasté en el casino la semana pasada? I saved one hundred dollars, but I spent it the last week. I I have I have saved one thousand dollars, but I spent the casino yesterday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, that is that is a purpose. I had saved. I had saved, which is which is I had saved, which is the past perfect. And I spent it, exactly. That's the structure I was looking for. Thank you so much for doing so, guys. I'm gonna give you now five minutes because I want you to write, this is more, more challenging, okay? What I'm gonna give you right now, challenge number, number uh, this is number two. <laughs> and this is the one, look, take a look at this one, okay. Please start writing. I know maybe you don't like writing, but today is your time for you to be creative as possible, okay? I want you to think about one story, can be real or imaginary, and use at least five words, okay, in your story from the ones I already gave you, okay? Start thinking about which one you're going to use and see how you can make, a, a, make up a story and then, then you're going to share it, okay? Choose the one you feel more comfortable with. And I'm gonna give you five minutes for you to write a story. You name it, you decide what you want to write about. Is that clear? Okay, now it's time for you to um, start using your imagination and write this story. You can start like once upon a time or I was walking on the street and or it was a sunny and blah, blah, blah day and my family started writing, okay? That's the purpose, the story. Five minutes, okay. we don't have much time. Five minutes, go. Mm, okay. OK. 
Okay. I improved. <laughs> you you want to you want to improvise? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sounds uh, good. I remember when I studied um uh in the in the um sorry, uh, high school it's, it's equivalent uh to bachillerato bachillerato okay uh -huh. i remember to study and in the high school i i um, i travel to my uh, to my house um one hours every day and and constant and forgot <laughs> Make the make the the homework, <laughs> and the next and the next day, my teacher is uh, very uh, enojado, ugly <laughs> with me. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. I thought I am um, um, only that five I, verbs. I, I listen to two verbs. No, <laughs> I forget. <laughs> no, okay. no. For forget, I forget when I studied. When I studied. Forget and remember. When I study. No, but only remember that we are using the verse from the list. Oh. I I, I, I know you use other. I know you did. But then oh, I, I like the from the list exactly from the list of from this oh, one. Okay. From the list. <laughs> so you use forget and remember, and we need to use five from this list. Look. From this list, this one and this one, five. Got it? But that was a really good one. You see, you see, you can write more. Okay, take four more minutes. Okay. When you finish, <laughs> let me know. Okay. Um... We give, Alex, we give you some time and we listen to Julio. Or who wants yeah. to go? Or Jera. Okay. Okay, uh, I lent a thousand dollars to get married, but I spent in the gambling and I felt sad after doing this. But remember, this story was a dream. <laughs> I, I don't know, but I think I, I, I heard four. Uh, Say it. Lent. Lent. Mary. Mary. Spent, spent, gambling. Which one? Gambling. Oh, but that's mm -hmm. not in the list. Oh, okay. Felt sad. Uh -huh. Remember. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's oh, one missing because oh. from the list you use four. Oh, okay. You're missing mm -hmm. one, but you almost got it. Okay, very good. Okay. Seven. Any? Mm -hmm. Brother said, okay. said, said, the American people Alex, Alex, oh, finish. Okay. An another history. <laughs> are you, are you are trying to make up yeah, another one. That's really good. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Take some time. Take some time. Think about it because I want you to expand mm -hmm. as much as you can on your mm -hmm. ideas. Okay, that's the that's the purpose. And try to use these verbs in different tenses: past perfect, uh, uh, past continuous, future. It, it, at any tense, you you feel comfortable using it with. Okay. I have a real story. Your story. Okay, go ahead, Julio, please. And last week, I was trying to change the engine, engine oil in my car. So I went to buy everything I suppose I, I, I need. I need it. I need it. And when, I got, when I got back home, I realized I really realized, I realized. realized that difficult to me to say it that I didn't know have all the tools at home so I had to pay for someone to do it that made me feel 
frustrated, really frustrated. Okay, I imagine. That's, I don't know how to change the oil for my car engine either. I always pay $10. <laughs> That's why they charge. Yeah. Okay, Julio, that is a really good one, but I didn't listen to, to, to the verse from the list. Okay, I think I have uh, change. Change, where is it? Uh, I was trying to change. Right, right. Uh -huh. I love your story. I don't, I don't wanna lie to you, I love your story. But then the purpose is to use this verse on the list I'm giving you. Okay. You follow me? Yes? Because yeah. your story is just great. And then, but I want you to use the verse I'm giving you. You see? Awesome. Uh, that, okay. That's that's the purpose, okay? So if you want to yeah. try creating it, that'll be great. I want to listen to Gerardo. Gerardo, go ahead. Okay. okay. I accept this job because enjoy the travel, but I disagree for the people that find a solution for a marriage. <laughs> for a marriage <laughs> okay ah I, I see I see what you're saying okay all right so you use accept married um what else enjoy you enjoy enjoy uh-huh disagree disagree Fine. okay got it Fine. very good that was short but you used the verse very good all right so I want to listen to some other opinions. Okay, I have listened to Julio, Alex, Gerard, and what about the other ones? What about Milton, Boris, Heidi? What about your stories? And, and Alex and, and Julio, think about how you can use the verse. We still have some minutes. Yeah, okay. we still have some. When, when I married uh, 22 years ago, um, with, my, with my wife, I, I found the law <laughs> and, and, but, but, <laughs> but I forgot that my liberty, <laughs> my liberty. <laughs> oh, your freedom. I said my, <laughs> and I said my, my new, um, uh, Situation. It's slavery. Slavery. Slayer. And actually, I have. Uh, I I I I sing. Sometimes at the birds. <laughs> oh man. Okay, that's a good one. A, is that real story or you is an imaginary story? It's not it's, it's imaginary. <laughs> imaginary, because sounds like like true story. I don't know, okay. but it may be someone else's life. All right. So I want to listen to Boris, Heidi, Milton. With I, I want to listen to your ideas. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. The the last year, I saved a dog, and it ran a lot, a lot of. Uh, and my sister accepted and found some box to sleep, and we enjoyed it. And finally, we lose it. Was that a, was that a dog? Is that what you say? A dog? Yes. Oh, okay. So, you, do you like pets? Yes. Oh, you do. I have, I have uh, two dogs. Oh, you have. Pet. Oh, so you're a pet lover. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for sharing that story. I can see. Heidi, are you going to share your story? No, teacher. Why? Come on. Do you have your, is it ready? No, teacher, it's difficult, but me. Is it difficult for you? Try, try, we're gonna wait for you because I really want to hear your ideas. We still have some minutes. And the purpose is this, that you challenge yourself. So now this is the thing. If, if you feel this is easy, awesome. If you feel this is a little bit difficult, challenge yourself, okay? 
because that's the idea to, to try to use the verbs and like um, it'll be great if we don't plan it. It'll be great if we can improvise. Improvising means that we are able to speak without thinking, and that's the purpose. Because we get in, we get into a point in which we don't have to think in Spanish. We only speak it because we want to say it or transmit the idea. So that is a challenge. Okay. So I do recommend using these activities so you enhance your vocabulary and get some more practice. So Heidi, please try. Whatever you have, it's okay. We have like four more minutes. Sure, oh my God. <laughs> okay. And the, the, the man and woman and the married and, um, And the mar and the woman and the excuse me and the men forget birthday the the how do you say the the esposa teacher wife wife uh, the the wife and why is and the hungry angry. For for your husband uh, not remember your for birthday. Her. Mm -hmm. For her. And her. Yes, and the husband is is. Mm -hmm. How do you say pedir teacher? Ask for. Ask for apologize. Uh, for incident. For the incident, okay. Only teacher. True three. story, true story or? Not, not teacher, imagination. Uh, Only. Yes. Eh, imagination. Eh, pasar, teacher. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially like, I don't consider myself a person who is always attentive to those details and I know they're important. I mean, I'm not married at all, but then uh, I do have a girlfriend and she's always complaining. You, you don't know this anniversary. You don't know this is like our, our, this month. And I'm like, I don't. And But I know that's important, you know. So yes, thank you so much for sharing. I know that's a true story. Guys, uh, tomorrow is the last day of class. Please connect and let's practice. Tomorrow we're going to talk about this. Let me show you because we finished. Tomorrow we'll, we'll talk about past models. This, this is a very, I would say, on my opinion, is high, like upper intermediate level uh, past model. This is for tomorrow. And uh, please get some practice if you can. Watch the video if you haven't watched the video. And this is a very good topic, okay? I would say even it can be considered an advanced topic, being honest with you. So get some practice for tomorrow about past model. And if you have any questions about any part of the midterm or the final test, please let me know so we can work on this, okay? Um, so thank, thank you, you so much for connecting and see you guys tomorrow being this our last session, okay? Have a nice night, take care. Good night, Good night. Thank you, All right, bye-bye.